guys doing this is miguel glock ortiz back with another video today i'm going to cover a small video for those people that are making me a lot of questions about what do i have in my weapon okay so i'm going to be fast and i'm um, trying to not take a long time let's start with my frame okay my frame is original oem it's been modified over here like the like the frame p80 all right so i did it myself I polished and I added some grips okay I have an OEM mag release why because I have changed this many times for different um, companies and uh, different type of materials and they all end up breaking my mags uh, so I got tired of um, buying this type of things and just breaking mags and breaking mags so I end up putting the OEM and problem solved okay so my fresh life is Olight and uh, this is the balder. This is, uh, I think it's 1200 lumens and it has a green laser. I love this one because it adds a lot of weight on the muscle, creating less kick on the shot, right? So this uh, are from, I believe it's Glock store with the pins and this part. And um, my trigger is from Circle, Serpical Performance. You guys know that. Um, inside the spring from the crucifix is a competition spring from a Zeph. Um, let me see what else do I have here. The rest is OEM. It's just been polished. Okay, so nothing else to cover in my frame. Okay, so here in the slide, this is the guide rod from Gen 3 added to a gen 4 slide with this adapter that is from ndz performance in ebay you just put it right there and you put your gen 3 guide rod in there it's from ndz2 and you're good to go all right so my barrel is from blacklist okay so inside this is the OEM slide. I just made it. Um, I just send it to cut and to paint, but it's the OEM slide, all right? So my brass channel liner, a lot of people don't talk about this. This is the plastic that goes inside your slide in there that is plastic, all right? Mine is brass. It's a new technology that uh, a seller um, is selling on eBay and he contact me. He gave me two to try. I've been trying them for nine months. I'm going to try it for one year. And if nothing happens, I will be giving away the other one, all right? So this is very nice, very good. It's brass, it won't tear, and it's going to last forever, all right? So with that said, this is my striker. I got the Maritime Cups. That allows you to shoot underwater and I have the skeleton striker all right it's a light striker from Glock store all right the cups you can find them on Amazon and this side over here that is the one that makes contact with the crucifix you have to polish it all right so if you see I eliminated the gold color because I polished this side over here that it is more polished but that's about it you have to polish this thing so basically that's what i have in my gun all this combination will give me two and a half uh, in a trigger pull with the modification that i have done to the cervical performance trigger all right so i'm going to assemble everything back again just like it was put your channel liner in there let's push it in there and then put this where's my plunger my plunger is rounded there's no edges it's thin gold for a better smooth surface all right and a competition spring from Zeph okay so go ahead and put that in there
I always push it till there, all right, with my finger, and then grab anything pointy, push here, push that little spring from the extractor, and you're good to go, all right? So everything is assembled, everything is good to go, and there you go. One more time. Alright, so that's about it. So I hope you guys like the video. And if any questions, just leave a comment below. Take care. Bye.